In today's video, I want to talk about retail sales in zero. Maybe you have a retail business, which means that you don't issue sales invoices. So let's take a look at how you record your sales in zero if you're in retail. Okay, we have a retail business and our customers either pay us by cash or card. So the first thing I want to do is to set up two bank accounts to represent these two methods of payment. So I'm going to go to my chart of accounts, I'm going to add a bank account. It's not a real bank, so it doesn't really matter the name of it. Okay, that's my cash sales set up. I'm going to add another. So when we're back in our dashboard, we already have our business bank account. We've got a petty cash account and now we have a cash sales and a credit card sales to bank accounts. Okay, let's record some sales in the business. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to my cash sales. I'm going to go to the three dots and I'm going to say a new receive money. Who it's from? It's from our cash customers. So the contact is not really that important, but that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to choose a date. I'm going to choose yesterday's date. And I'm just going to say cash sales. Quantity is going to be one. It's going to be £120. It's sales in my retail business. So we've got £120 with VAT. So before VAT, the sales will be 100 I'm just going to save that. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. So that's my cash sales for the day. I'm now going to add my credit card sales. This time to show you another way to do it, I'm going to say plus and I'm going to choose receive money. It's credit card sales, choose next. And again, I'm going to say similar to before, credit card customers. I'm just choosing yesterday's date for this. Quantity is going to be one. This time it's going to be 240. It's going to the sales account, shop sales. So it's tax inclusive, which means it's included in the VAT. So we're going to have sales of 200 and I'm going to save. So let's go to the dashboard and see what that has done. We can see that these bank accounts have a balance. So in other words, in cash sales, in our cash register, if you like, we will have £120. In our credit card money due to us from the credit card company, we have 240 And that's how you can record your retail sales in zero. Okay, so let's just add another day's sales. So again, we'll say receive money and we'll choose the same contact, our cash customers. Okay, and that's our transaction. Let's add our credit card sales. Okay, that's our transactions. So now in zero, we have two days sales. So what would happen next? This money is sitting in your cash register if you haven't spent it, and this money is sitting with your credit card company. So the next thing would happen is you would transfer money to your bank account. So it's up to you when you transfer money from the till, but as you're building up funds, you would do a transfer. You don't necessarily transfer it all because you're going to keep some. So we're going to go here and this time we're going to choose transfer money. And we're going to say, OK, we're going to transfer to the bank account today and we'll just say we're going to transfer £50. So now we can see our cash balance has reduced and then slightly different on the credit card sales. You're not in control of it, but your credit card company is going to pay that money to you. So that money is going to come into your bank account. If you have a bank feed, it would appear, but because we're in a demo company, we're going to do it manually. So we've got £480, depending on the agreement you have with your credit card company. It will determine how often this money is transferred to you. So let's just go to transfer from the credit card to the business bank account. Use the full amount and transfer. Okay, so just to recap what we've done there, we've input sales, we've input cash sales as received transactions, and we've input credit card sales. And then we've shown funds being transferred to the bank account. So from cash sales to the bank, and also from your credit card company to your bank. And now we can see 
the remaining balance is. So cash, you've still got 130 and the credit card is zero because we've transferred everything. Obviously that would build up again as you have further sales in your business. That's your retail sales in zero. If you like the video, please let me know that you like it. Why don't you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you have any comments, please add them. I'll do my best to respond. Until next time, happy zeroing.